Hi, I'm Ray Magnus here at the Emu Oil Depot and today I'm hoping to clear up some of the confusion about Emu Oil and just address a couple of the basics about how the oil is produced and what's going on with that so that you'll understand whether or not you're getting quality Emu Oil and, and maybe why some of the prices vary as much as they do and that sort of thing. Just clear up the facts about Emu Oil and answer some of your basic questions and see if we can get them straightened out. Actually, you know where the Emu Oil comes from. It comes from the Emu Bird. And, and if it's a, a quality oil that's produced uh, uh, anywhere, it's got to have a, a decent ranch operation. Everything revolves around that. It doesn't matter if it's beef, chicken, pork, fish farms, anything like that sort of product has the foundation of the whole thing is the ranch operation so if you're dealing with a company that doesn't have their own ranch and produce their own birds and their own oil they're gambling on what kind of product they're producing so that's the foundation of it all it all revolves around feed cleanliness water uh, facilities all of that matters so if someone is not producing the birds themselves. You ought to question that. So uh, here at the MUR Depot we have our own ranch. We, pr we produce about 500 to 1,000 birds every season depending. If you have to kind of forecast that. We hatch our own birds. Uh, anybody that produces a quality oil, that's just a necessity. It's no different, like I say, in any other agribusiness. You have to produce your own your own product to get a decent operation. So it, if, if the feed is being produced with growth hormones and chemicals and medications and steroids, you got a problem with the oil too. So all of those things matter. Uh, uh, the refining of the, of, the, of the fat that comes from the emu bird is the next step in the process. The, 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 the fat is frozen in blocks and sent to a refinery and, and uh, refined in the same way that you refine any oil that we've been all been using all our lives. Any of the cooking oils or the salad dressing oils, all of those oils are refined in the same basic way. So if you're seeing things on the internet like triple refining and, and molecular distilling, all of that sounds real good because we're putting it on our face and, and a lot of people take it orally, ingest it. But um, in, in fact, normal refining is the best method of doing any, any of these kinds of types of preparation of the oil. And normal refining is not a big deal at all. It's just nothing more than basically pressing the oil through paper filters, really dense paper filters at a certain temperature so you can get the, the viscosity or the thick, thickness and thinliness of the oil to a specific uh, place and properly done so that it'll go through the paper filters. Then you'll spin it in a centrifuge to remove the moisture and put it under a vacuum so that it takes away any of odor. It's called deodorizing. Put it under a vacuum for a couple of hours and it's deodorized. So it's not really a big, huge, complicated affair to properly refine something. Then lab testing takes place after that. And um, really lab testing isn't a big deal either. If you, you, you have certain chemicals in the laboratory that they'll put a sample of oil and mix it with those chemicals and they just got a little color chart. Whatever color the oil comes out to be, the chart on, uh, on the wall there has the numbers that match it. So if you're looking to produce certain free fatty acid result, uh, uh, a certain peroxide result uh, coming out of the laboratory, that's how you do it. Just mix it with some chemicals and the color that it, that it produces tells you what the number is. So all of these things aren't the really big deal that, that it's made out to be on the internet. It's almost like you really couldn't understand that, but you can. So it all boils down to uh, proper care of the, of the birds, the emu birds, and just like cattle, chicken, pork, anything along that line, uh, it all boils down to that and care of the product. So if the fat is, is, is taken properly and stored properly and refined properly, you got a quality oil. Doesn't molecular distilling cost about three times to do as, as normal refining does. So if you're told your, your oil needs to be molecularly distilled, well then it needs to be three times the price.
because that's how much more it costs if you if you if you're going to have that done the color of the oil doesn't need to be clear normal refined emu oil is sort of a pearl white in color and it's a creamy texture you know so uh it just produces such wonderful results the most rewarding thing about our business is the fact that we have thousands of customers in our business we're proud to say and they depend on this oil it just produces miracles in their lives that wasn't possible before and it's natural it's not a it's not a uh, uh, full of chemicals and this sort of thing so it's a wonderful business to be in you ought to try it sometimes but better than that it helps so many people it's just incredible it works great on any sort of a skin condition our biggest customer is a worldwide cosmetics firm so it's used in in tons of uh, makeup and cosmetics as well so try any oil for whatever ails you we hope to have more of these uh, videos coming from emuoildepot.com stay with us and and we'll show you some more of the ranch if you want to see it bottle, here's here's what uh, what it comes in. Just an ordinary plastic bottle is fine. It, some people say it's got to be glass, but this is what uh, good oil comes in. So give us a call anytime. We're at emuoildepot.com. Be happy to answer your questions and hang in there. The emu oil is going to do you some good.